Hi everyone, welcome to lab 10. This is your GDC lab in which we'll do single class and then multi class classification and present the data using different algorithm. So the first step in this lab is already given here. So this is a lab tutorial. So first you have to follow the steps. So in order to do this, we have the cancer data. So we have to get the cancer data from the National Genomic Cancer Institute. So the GDC data to download the data and all you have to follow the steps. So first you have to click on the repository link. So this is the National Cancer Institute genomic data. And so in order to do this, this is the repository. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the data for all the 35 diseases that it has. So you have to go to the left side section, go to cases, select all the diseases. So right now you can see I already selected all the disease and for the files you go to file section uh, like again classify into transcriptome profiling then miRNA expression quantification and miRNA sequence afterwards it will give you a like size 1 now the files in cases are like 11,383 where to download the manifest file which is a not the actual data but a key file to the metadata that is stored at the institute so download click on download the manifest file i already have the manifest file downloaded so once you have done that once you have the manifest file you have to go to uh, like either you can do it on the local desktop or on amazon aws services so i have already created an im role of SageMaker plus an aws instance uh, in the AWS instance, I have already created it. So this is the created one. So you can easily create it using the EC2 instance. Then copy the public DNS, paste it on the command prompt, on the locally or what. Uh, and you would have a key, so you have to put the key in that folder itself. So I have already ran the command for you. So you have to just accept the connection. As you can see, I already entered the EC2 instance. Now here I can run the Python scripts that will be needed for importing pre-processing and integrating the data so the next steps to be done after doing this is you have to make a so this steps we followed and got the manifest file for the data now you have to just make a directory so you have to run this file first you need the gdc client to download all the data using the manifest file so I will just copy this and execute. So as you can see, it's already it downloaded the GDC client. Now you have to make a unzip it. So unzip G. As you can see the listing, it has now the GDC client, the binary executable file as well as the zip file. Now it's the next step is to make. Uh, next step is to make a directory called live mirn in which we'll store all the data that will be downloaded from the manifest key so let's do that so, uh, now the directory is already created you can go inside the directory and now you have to download for downloading the data what you need is this command uh, let me just copy the command so in order for this to work it should know where your downloads folder is so when you unzip the gdc client so since this is a ubuntu system i have downloaded the ubuntu again and unzipped it and now in order to execute the manifest file you copy this command so you have to give the path of the file names and the exe file and the manifest key that you have to use for downloading the file so now i will click enter and just hold on so you have to type in your gdc client download hash m and the file name that is the manifest key from which the data metadata will be downloaded and press enter so this process will take time so once it starts it will show you each file download notification so hold on a moment
So as you can see it has started downloading the data, actual data file. So which will be like uh, actually it's in size of 50 KB per data file set. And uh, right now it's transmitting at low speed, but once some file transfer happens, it will trans start transmitting with a high speed. So after the this the data has been downloaded, I will go proceed with the next steps. So I already have the data, so we'll go to the next step directly. So the next step is, uh, so first of all, I'm using FileZilla to upload and transfer, like send and receive the files from the server instance uh, locally and from locally to the server. So the next step we need to do is go to the um, instance, uh, go to Amazon SageMaker on the instance. You can either do the transfer the files, the Python files that we require. So what we can do is we can transfer the files here. So first we need a check.py. So which will help in checking the integrity of the manifest file that we have downloaded. So for that you need to execute the python command. Let me change the directory so that. So this is the kind of the data that will look like. This kind of folders will be there or each will be like a 50 KB size. So you can just go to bad directory and I will execute the files in a separate directory so that the output files that are generated will be different. Uh, slow. Wait a moment. Let's lost connection. Yeah. So we are already out. Okay. Yeah. Create a directory files in which I will put all my Python files. So let this code be there. You will need the manifest file also here so that it will check the integrity of this data. Let us run the check file. Now run Python check. Okay, so you need to import all the modules. So as you can see, you can either do, do the installation here or uh, execute the python files here or at us AWS instance so once we have the manifest files and the actual data you can directly go to the AWS instance and since it's an Ubuntu system it doesn't have the python imported files you have to install pip and try to import the other files instead of doing that you can instantiate a Amazon SageMaker anyhow you have to run at the end algorithms and multi-class classifications so just open the AWS console go to the AWS SageMaker and create an instance using SageMaker, which I already be explained in the previous lab steps. So I already created a SageMaker notebook instance, uh, and we'll try to do the run whole thing using Jupyter with Python Conda 3. So in service, I will open this Jupyter. It's already open. Let us try to do. So this is the window, Jupyter window. So let us transfer one by one. So we'll do check. So let it run. Yo, this asterisk means that the program is still running. So don't proceed until the successful output comes. Otherwise it will pop up an error. So in this case it will, so file does not exist. So for her, it, I have to give the file that is already not uploaded and I have to upload the GDC file. Yes. So let me update the files. So now I uploaded the file. Now it, will, it can sense the GDC file. Now run this program again.
let me run the python file so this file is showing the correct output the next thing we have to do is to pass the data that we downloaded for the cancer now you go to the next step which is passing the data so we have did the check.py and if it's some of the files did not download you have to copy this command and execute again now you have to do the passing of the data so use the pass file case id provided so for doing that just open that code that you have been given and change the path where your files lie and create an input file or output file depending on that so in order to create this it requires an input json file to download the input json file you have to go to the cancer repository data site again so where did you click the download button of manifest and go to this options go down and select all the attributes and then go to click on json it will export all the json contents into a .json file and it will be downloaded this file you need to export to the instance or the sage maker wherever you are executing your python code so now we'll try to execute the parsing file in which i've already changed my path according to the files and i uploaded the json file so let us execute the parse code so you can see it's executing the code it's executed and it will generate a the parsing file will generate a file case id dna dot csv which is excel format let us see as it generated or not so yeah you can see a new file popped up seconds ago so you can open this file or download this file locally using filezilla or you can upload or download this file from the sage maker so once this file is created what you need to do next is request the metadata actual metadata so you have to pass the data that you got from the manifest key and use that date this file case id dot py that is generated from the json file to extract from the manifest actual data metadata so what we'll do is execute the request in order to do this it requires an input file of it will output a file called met, files meta.tsv and cases of meta.tsv requires the case id dna.csv that we just generated from the pass id so we already have it in the local directory just need to change the path so what this python file is doing is just passing and integrating the data and like syncing the data with respect to the case id and the dna of the genes with respect to the disease so let us run that and since it's a pretty huge 11,000 test data is other it will take some time so this will execution of request metadata.py will take some time so don't change the next steps until this extract is completed so once this program is executed it will generate two tsc files files meta and cases meta let it execute it's still executing this window you can see this and until this gets completed it's still executing so let us wait for that so once this is done we what we'll use is a predict algorithm uh, in that you can use either logic regression Bayesian neural network or any other algorithms and can use the predict python file in which you can modify the code and multi do the multi-class classification the sample files provided to us are the bi binary classified data in which the zero means like normal tissues there is no cancer in it and the one denotes cancer in it so we are further classifying the one which is consists of cancer into 35 diseases so there will be like 35 different classification of the disease individual and the one single classification of a normal tissue with doesn't have cancer so you can see the file is executed completely and the new file has already been generated cases meta.tsv and you can see uh, files meta.tsv a minute ago and seconds ago so this is your latest generated files now you will use the predict.py 
so in order to use the predict.py what you can do is just copy the predict.py code which will generate the actual MIRNA matrix which will have the whole classification and the different genes data with respect and uh, specify the actual give the actual label to that each data to which disease and which uh, primary unit it belongs to so the primary unit here we are referring to is an organ to on which the cancer is there and the cancer is which type of cancer in that organ so they will be labeling and classifying based on that so let us execute the predict in which we are implementing the general algorithm right now and afterwards we will try to run a different algorithm and at the end will re represent my colleagues will represent you the accuracy test case and the f1 score and the other parameters of the algorithm let us execute this Now you need to run the gen file. The gen file will help in generating the two TSV files. So you can see it's already done and the TSV files are also generated. Now in order to generate the MIRNA matrix which is which will use the files meta.tsv and the data that we have already there so since I have the data locally in, in my local folder I can show you the data it's in live mirna so this is the whole data so in order to use this now we'll use the request metadata so it will generate an output file it will use this file case edit dna.csv and generate this so once we have the tsv files we'll use one of the t files for tsv in order to uh, do the generate the mirn matrix in which we'll label the whole thing and we'll use that MIRN matrix to predict. So, uh, what I can do is I can open a new line and try to execute this. Oh, yeah. So, I have to change the path because there was no such path. I have to just create this part, I will just create this part in which it will generate the MIRN matrix using the data so for that I have to upload the data since I don't have the data on the SageMaker instance I have my data locally I showed you the path in this lab 10 live MIRN this is all the data so in order to generate an MIRN matrix now what we'll do is use an gen mirna matrix code in which we use the uh, files meta tsv generate from request meta python file and right now i'm already started executing the gen file oh this is the instance command prompt yeah this is the car i'm executing the gen mirna matrix now this after running this code it will generate mirna matrix based on the labels multi-class classification of the 35 diseases and the normal tumors like the normal tissues without cancers so this will take a long time so just wait until out comes
since it's a lot of data like total data is 11,843 it will take time to uh, it will at the end this is the main data that's using this python code is using the main data so it will take more time so it will what it will die say still then i will show you it you uses the file meta tsv which is already pre parsed processed and integrated and based on this keys of the classifications uh, so we can see uh, you can see here so we have made this in the new in uh, like the physical uh, unit classification so this is the miRNA expression and this is the we have created separated based on the primary the the uh, what we say the primary unit the stomach and the organs in which the cancer is and you can browse further and you can see the organ in which the cancer is and the cancer type so in this case it's she's the primary tumor the solid tissue normal tc transcriptome profiling so these are other cancer types so once it gets executed i think it should have been done yeah so you can see the mirna dot python file is executed completely now we can go to the folder and let's see the new file so you can see the time is 504 the new file is generated it's 5.03 pm latest file that is generated and you can open that file and actually so this is all the steps that we did just to pre-process integrate and get the data and classify into the classify the different genes data into the cancer diseases and the organs in which the disease exists that's the uh, multi-class classification now we'll use a predict code and which we'll use algorithms to like train and test the algorithm with the data and then try to find a good accuracy and FN score and train the model with this data since it's a huge file uh, you can see it's like has 11,000 the same contents as the manifest files the manifest file was the key and this is actual metadata 11,487 you can browse around to the last column here we have made the labels so you can see if it's a normal and primary data or which kind of data So, my colleagues will proceed with the next steps. Thank you. Uh, we have this code over here, and uh, I'll, I'm implementing all the algorithms from random forest classifier to SVC with the same tuned parameters over there. The only thing which I have changed over here is that uh, I've increased the end from 7 to 25, and uh, now I'll run it. So, my code is running and I'll wait for the results the code is run uh, I'm getting the results over here and I'm printing the scores for and if you see we are getting the maximum accuracy in random forest classifier which is around 82 percent and minimum in ADA boost so uh, with n equal to 25 we are getting uh, accuracy of 8 82 percent and we can still increase it if we increase the size of n but after the specific value the uh, the accuracy will saturate and it will drastically fall down so uh, the thing which we have changed over here and the algorithm which we are implementing different algorithm which we are implementing is the knn here is the uh, script with the KNN classifier and I have put KNN classifier over here and then comparing this with random forest classifier all other classifiers I've commented those out and for the tune parameters in KNN classifier I have selected the range of n neighbors from 16 to 32 and I'm using Minkowski metric and where p equal to 2 so I'll run this code here for kin classifier i'm getting uh, accuracy around 64 percent which is also not that bad we can increase this value by increasing the n from 20 to 25 so thank you